The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is. Sixth chapter, text number 16 through 24, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on February 19, 1969, in Los Angeles. Nothing is prohibited because after all you have to execute the yoga process with your this body to make the best use of a bad bargain. You see, this material body is a source of all misery. Actually, the spirit soul has no misery. That's like normal condition of a living entity is a healthy life. Disease takes place by certain contamination infection. Disease is not our life. Similarly, the present position of material existence is a disease condition of the soul. And what is the disease? The disease is this body. Because this body is not meant for me. This is not my body. Just like your dress. You are not the dress. Ah. But we are different in the dress here. Somebody red color, somebody white color, somebody yellow color. But that color, I am not this color. Similarly, this body, I am white man, black man, Indian, American, or this, Hindu, Muslim, Christian. This is not my position. This is all disease condition. Disease condition. We are trying to get out of the disease. That is yoga system. To connect again with the Supreme. Because I am part and parcel. The same example. Uh, somehow or other, the finger is cut off and it is uh, falling on the ground. It has no value. My finger, when it is cut off and it is lying on the ground, it has no value. But as soon as the finger is joined with this body, it has got millions and trillions of dollars there. Invaluable. Similarly, we are now disconnected with God or Krishna hmm. by this material condition. Forget, not disconnected. Connection is there. God is supplying our all necessity. That's like a state prisoner is disconnected from the civil department. He has come to the criminal department. Actually not disconnected. The government is still taking care. But legally disconnected. Similarly, we are not disconnected. We cannot be disconnected because there is no existence of anything without Krishna. So how can I be disconnected? Disconnection means that by forgetting Krishna, instead of engaging myself in Krishna consciousness, I am engaged in so many nonsense consciousness. That is disconnection. Instead of thinking myself that I am eternal servant of God or Krishna, I am thinking I am servant of my society, I am servant of my country, I am servant of my husband, I am servant of my wife, I am servant of my dog, or so many. This is forgetful. So how it has happened? 
due to this body. Whole thing, whole misconsciousness has come into existence due to this body. Because I am born in America, I am thinking American. And because uh, I am thinking American, the American government came here to come and fight, give your life. That's what. Why? This body. Therefore, the intelligent person should know that I am suffering all miserable condition of my life due to this body. So we should not act in such a way that this imprisonment with this material body will continue birth after birth. Either American body, Indian body, dog's body, hawk's body, so many, eight million four hundred thousand of bodies. So that is called yoga. How to get out of this contamination? But the first instruction is to understand that I am not this body. That is the basic principle of Bhagavad Gita teaching. Asachyanam sochastam prajnavadam suhasas. My dear Arjun, you are talking very nicely. That's like a very advanced learned man. But you are talking on the bodily platform, all nonsense. I am father of this. Oh, they are my relatives, they are my this, they are my this. How can I kill them? How can I do? I can The whole atmosphere consciousness is what? Therefore, Krishna, just after Arjuna's accepting him, his spiritual master, he is immediately chastising him. As a master chastises his disciple, a you nonsense. You are talking very wisely, as if you know so many things. But your position is this body. So the whole world, they are posing themselves as highly advanced in education. Science, philosophy, these are qualities, so many things. But ah, their position is this body. That's like an example, a vulture. A vulture rises very high, seven miles, eight miles up. Wonderful, you cannot do that. And he has got wonderful eyes also. There is small eyes, vulture. It is so powerful that it can see from seven miles distance where there is a carcass, dead body. So he has got good qualification. He can rise very high. He can see from a distant place. Ah, but what is this object? A dead body. His perfection is to find out a carcass, dead body, and teach. That's all. So similarly, we may go up very high education. But what is our objective? What I think? How to enjoy sense this body, that's all. An advertisement? Oh, he has gone. He is putting seven hundred miles. Oh. And what do you do? What is your occupation? Sense education. That's all. Well, that is animal. The people are not considering how they are implicated with this bodily concept of life. So, one should first of all know that our miserable condition of material existence is due to this body. At the same time, this body is not permanent. Supposing I have identified everything with this body, family, society, country, these, or so many things, but how long? Ah. It is not permanent. Asan. Asan means it will not exist. Asan na pikle sadeha sadeha. Simply travels. Not permanent, 
and simply give him some. So that is intelligence. How to get out of this world? People come, say that I am not oh, in peace, I am in trouble, my mind is not free. But when the medicine is offered, he does not accept. Okay? He wants something uh, palatable, what he has understood, that's all. Many people come to us, Swamiji, oh, this is my peace. And as soon as we suggest the medicine, he will not accept. Because he wants some medicine which will be acceptable by him. So how we can offer? Then why do you go to a physician? You make your own treatment. Okay. So here the suggestion is that this body is useless. But that does not mean we should not take car have a care. Just like you are going from one place to another place on your car. The car, you are not this car, but because you have to use the car for your work, you have to take care of the car also. But not much care that you simply become absorbed in the car business and no other business. Attach somebody, too much attachment to the car is polishing the car whole day. Polishing. So, we should not be too much attached to this body. But because of this body, you have to execute Krishna consciousness. Therefore, we should keep it fit off. That is called Jitta Vaidha. We shall not neglect. We shall take regular bath, we shall take regular nice food, Krishna prasadam, keep our mind and body healthy. That is required. So Krishna consciousness movement does not say that artificially you simply make some renouncement, all nonsense, and, and, and to recompensate, you take to some drugs, you take to some uh, intoxication. No. You take nice food. Krishna has given nice food. Uh, fruits, grains, meal. Uh, you can prepare hundreds and thousands of preparation nice with this food, grains, and we are doing that. Our purpose for inviting you in the love feast is that replace with Krishna Prasada with your uh, all nonsense food stuff. They are not healthy. These are healthy food. Ah. Healthy food. Palatable, healthy food. So, ah. eat Krishna prasadam, nice prasadam. If you all come, want some nice palatable dish, we can supply you hundreds, thousands of Hare Krishna, ah. samosa and this, sweet ball, rasagulla, and this. So many things you can supply. Okay. You are not prohibited. But don't take too much. Oh, it is very palatable, like we see one dozen of Rasagulla. No, don't take too much. Then that is not good. That is greediness. You should simply take so much as will keep your body safe. You should sleep so much as will keep your body safe. That's all. Nothing more. Jukta haru viharasya juga bhavati this is called jitta. We should eat simply for keeping healthy conditions. We should sleep simply for keeping healthy. But if you can reduce, that's nice. But not at the risk of becoming sick. Because in the beginning, because we are accustomed to eat varesasvi, so don't try to eat less artificially. You eat. Ah. But try uh, to minimize it. The more, therefore, there are prescriptions of fasting. Uh, at least two compulsory fasting in a month. And there are other fasting days. The more you can reduce your sleep and eating, you keep good health, especially for spiritual purposes. But not artificial. Uh, 
not artificial. But we, when you advance, naturally you will not feel. Uh, just like Raghunath Das Goswami. There are examples. Raghunath Das Goswami was very rich man's son. And he left home. So he joined Lord Chaitanya. So his father, he was the only son, very beloved son, very nice wife, left everything. So his, and left men stealing without saying anything. Some or another he uh, left home. And the father could understand he has gone to Lord Chaitanya, Puri. So he sent four servants, because he was very rich man, and four hundred rupees. Five hundred years ago, four hundred rupees mean twenty times at the present time. So, uh, first of all he accepted that, oh, Father has no life. So, what you, how you are spending money? So, he was inviting all his sannyasins in Jagannath Puri. There are many sannyasins in our sort of. And every month he was offering, feasting. Then, after a few days, Lord Chaitanya inquired his secretary, uh, Sarup Dhamma, oh, nowadays I don't get any invitation from Raguna. What happened? Uh, sir, he has stopped accepting his father's money. Uh, oh, that's very nice. Uh, he thought, that I have renounced everything and I am enjoying my father's money. Uh, this is not nonsense. He, 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 he asked the man, you go home, I don't want money. Then how is he is living? Ah, oh, he is standing on the staircase of Jagannath temple and when the priests go home with their prasadam, they offer something and he is satisfied. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, Oh, this is all right, very nice. Then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was inquiring how he is standing there. So he saw standing. So Raghunath Das Goswami, after a few days, he stopped that standing. Then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu inquired. He said, it really, I don't see Raghunath standing there. Uh, what is he doing? No, sir, he has given up their standing because he thought, oh, I'm standing just like a prostitute, somebody will come and give me some. No, no, I don't like it. Oh, that's very nice. Uh, then how is eating? Oh, he's collecting some rejected rice in the kitchen, and that he eating. So to encourage Rupanath Das Krishna, one day Chaitanya Mahaprabhu went to his room. Raguna, I heard that you are eating very nice food stuff and you are not inviting me. Ah. And so he was not replying. So he was finding out where he has kept that rice. And he took and immediately began to say, ah. You do not eat. This is not fit for you. Oh, this Jagannath uh, Prasadam, how do you say it is not fit? Just to encourage. He may not think that I am eating this object. In this way, Raghunath Das Goswami reduced his food staff ultimately every alternate day only one piece of or it's called butter. So, so much. And he was offering him bowing down hundreds times, chanting, Seven times. Sankha Purvaka Nama, you have uh, heard it uh, while singing Six Goswami's song. Sankha Purvaka Nama Gana Nati Vi Karavasani Krito. So there are very nice examples of minimize, minimize all material necessities up to the point me. Okay. But that is not possible for everyone. Don't try to imitate Raghunath Das Goswami. But because they were associates of Lord Chaitanya, 
each one of them showed some example, a unique example, how Krishna consciousness can be advanced. But our business is not to imitate them, but try to follow them. Try to follow them as far as possible. Not artificial. That's what we already said. There is no possibility of one's becoming a yogi if you try to become immediately Raghunath Das Goswami by imitating. You will fail. Whatever progress you have made, that will be faced. No, not that. You eat. But don't eat more. That's all. Eating more is no good. You eat. If you are an elephant, you eat hundred pounds. But if you are an ant, you eat one grain. Don't eat hundred pounds imitating the elephant. God has given food to the elephant and to the ant. But if you are actually elephant, then you would like, you eat like elephant. But if you are ant, don't eat like elephant, then you eat some. So here it is said, there is no possibility of one's becoming a jogi or jogi if one eats too much or is too little. Very nice program. Don't eat too little, you eat ah, whatever is required. But don't eat no uh, more. Similarly, uh, don't sleep more if you can keep your health perfect, but try to reduce it. Suppose you are sleeping ten hours, but if I keep, keep myself fit by sleeping five hours, why should I sleep ten hours? So this is the process. Don't do anything artificial. In the, so far the body is concerned, we have got four demands. Eating, sleeping, mating, and defect. The defect is that modern civilization, that they are thinking that this eating process, sleeping process, if we can increase, oh, that is very nice. If we can sleep the whole day and night on Saturday and Sunday, oh, it is great profit in the That is the civilization. They, they think it is an opportunity to enjoy life, to sleep, uh, the thirty hours a day. No, don't do that. Reduce it. Try to reduce it, but not at least. Page number 17. He who is regulated in his habits of eating, sleeping, working, and recreation can mitigate all material pains by practicing the yoga system. Yes. Yeah. If simply there is no question of attending a so-called yoga class and pay five rupees or five dollars fee to keep yourself reduced fat and so on, keeping your health fit, if simply practice, ah, this practice, ah, but to eat what you need, sleep what you need, your health will be excellent. There is no need of any external health. Simply by practicing this, you will have everything, all right. Verse number 18. When the yogi, by practice of yoga, disciplines his mental activities and becomes situated in transcendence, devoid of all material desires, he is said to have attained, to have attained yes. yoga. to keep the mind in equilibrium. That is yoga perfection. To keep the mind, that how you can do. If you, in a material field, you cannot keep your mind in equilibrium. That is not possible. Uh, take for example, this Bhagavad Gita. Uh, if you read daily four times, you will not get time. But take any other book, after reading one hour, you will get time. This chanting, Hare Krishna, he chant whole day and night and dance, he'll never get time. But take another name, just after half an hour, finished. It is bothering. 
Therefore, to fix up the mind means to keep your mind in Krishna. Then, finish, all you. You are perfect yogi. You haven't got to do anything. Simply fix up your mind. Savayi manak krishna padarami. Vachansi vai kuntuna. If you talk, you talk of Krishna. If you eat, eat of Krishna. If you think, think of Krishna. If you work, work for Krishna. See, in this way, this yoga practice will be perfect. Not at all. And that is the perfection of yoga. You've heard of all material desires. If you are simply desiring for Krishna, where is the scope of material desire? Finished. All material desire finished. You haven't got to try for it artificially. Ah, oh, oh, I shall not see any nice uh, girl. Oh, oh, I shall close my so, That you cannot do. But if you fix up your mind in Krishna consciousness, you are dancing with so many beautiful girls. That's all right, that's brother and sister, there is no question. This is practical. Perfection of you. Artificially you cannot do. Simply in Krishna consciousness, all perfection is there. Try to understand. All perfection. Because that is spiritual platform. The spiritual platform is eternal, blissful, and full of knowledge. Therefore, there is no misgiving. Yes. Verse number 19. As a lamp in a windless place does not waver. Yeah, here is the example. Yes, so the transcendentalist whose mind has been controlled remains always steady in his meditation on the transcendent self. In this long, because there is no air waving. This is the lamp. The flame is steady. Similarly, if the flame of your mind will be, remain as steady as this flame, if you absorb the mind with Krishna consciousness, then you know, as the flame is not agitating, your mind will not be agitating. And that is perfect something. Verses 20 through 23. The state of perfection is, is called trance or samadhi, when one's mind is completely restrained from material, mental activity by practice of yoga. So samadhi means, samadhi means uh, not to make why. That is important. Please, Odikataras, please, Ham, Abhaktya, Sattvachitas. Some yogi says that you, uh, Stop yourself, make yourself motionless. Now, how is this possible to make me motionless? I am moving in spirit. This is not possible. Motionless means when you are fixed up in Krishna, there is no more material motion. That is motionless. This material uh, propensities will not anymore disturb. That is called motion. But your motion for Krishna activities will increase. The more you increase your uh, motion or activities in Krishna consciousness, the, you become automatically motionless in material activities. That is the process. But if you want to make motionless, just the same example, a child, a child is restless. Uh, you cannot make the child motionless. You give him something, plaything, some nice picture, you will see, engage and motionless. That is the way. So people are motionless. Ah, no, no, not motionless, so it's called uh, moving. But if you want to make him motionless, then give him Krishna engagement. Then he will be motionless. And, he will be, and that is realization. Now, why he should be engaged in Krishna consciousness unless he realizes that I am Krishna's, I am not this matters, I am not this nations, I am not this societies, I am not this Russians, I am simply Krishna. Motion. Now, 
is full knowledge. And that is my position. I am part and parcel, nobody wants to do this. All these living entities are my part and parcel. So as soon as you understand that I am part and parcel of Krishna, immediately you become motionless to material activity. Yes. This is characterized by one's ability to see the self by the pure mind and to relish and rejoice. Pure mind. This is pure mind. Pure mind means to understand oneself that I belong to Krishna. That is pure mind. Mind, at the present moment my mind is contaminated. Why? That I am thinking, uh, I belong to this, I belong to that, I belong to this. But when my mind is fixed up, I am Krishna. So that is my purpose. Yes. And to relish and rejoice in the Self. In that joyous state, one is situated in bondage. This joyous in the Self. That means Krishna is the Super Self. Uh, yoga practice, that I am individual self, when I am in samadhi with Vishnu, super self, that is my oh, steadiness of the mind. So, super self and self when they enjoy. Enjoyment cannot be alone. There must be two. Oh, have you got any experience of enjoyment alone? No. So enjoyment alone is not possible. Uh, enjoyment means to Krishna and you, the super-soul super and the individual soul. That is the way. You cannot enjoy alone. That is not your position. Yes, no. One is situated in boundless transcendental happiness and enjoys himself through transcendental senses. Established thus, one never departs from the truth, and upon gaining this, he thinks there is no greater gain. Being situated in such a position, one is never shaken, even in the midst of the greatest difficulty. This is... In the greatest difficulty, if you are convinced that I am part and parcel of Krishna, then in there is greatest Difficult position of your life, uh, that is surrender. You know, uh, Krishna will give you protection. You try your best, your, use your intelligence, but believe in Krishna. Balasameha Pitaru Nishinga. If Krishna neglects, no other remedy can protect you. No other measure can protect you. Don't think, suppose one is diseased. Uh, many expert physicians, physician, uh, treating him, nice medicine is offered. Is that guarantee for his life? No. That is not guarantee. If Krishna neglects, in spite of all these good physician and medicines, he will die. Uh, and if Krishna protects him, even if he has no expert uh, treatment, he will still survive. So one who is fixed up in Krishna, fully surrender. And one of the points of surrender is that Krishna will protect me. Then you are happy. Just like the child, he, he, he is fully uh, surrendered to the parents and he is confident that my father is there, my mother is there. So he is happy. Kadahamahi kaam chikanitya kinkara <clears throat> if you know that somebody is there who is my patron, who is my seva, are you not very happy? But if you do everything on your own account, at your own response, are you happy? Similarly, if you are convinced in Krishna consciousness that Krishna will give me protection, uh, and if you are uh, I'm true to Krishna, that is the standard of happiness. You cannot be happy other way. That is not possible. Ego bhuna ambita da vikama. That is the fact. Even your, in your rebellious condition, Krishna is giving you protection. Without Krishna's protection, you cannot live for even for a second. He's so kind. 
But when you admit it, uh, when you recognize it, uh, then you become happy. Now Krishna is giving you protection, but you do not know it, because you have taken your life at your own risk. Therefore he has given you freedom all life, do whatever you like. As far as possible I will give you protection. But when you fully surrender, the whole charge is to Krishna, that is special. That is special protection. Just like a father. Uh, the child who has grown up doesn't care for the father, he is acting freely. What the father can do, all I do, all right. But the child who is fully under the protection of the father, he takes more care. That is stated in Bhagavad Gita, I find. Samoham sarva bhuteshu. I am equal to everyone. Name desha. Nobody is my enemy. How he can be enemy? Everyone is Krishna's son. How he can become enemy to Krishna? His son. That is not possible. He is friend of everyone. But we are not taking advantage of his friendship. That is our disease. That is our disease. He is friend to everyone. Samo and Sarva Bhutis. But one who is recognizing, he can understand that Krishna is giving me protection in this way. This is the way of happiness. So. This indeed is actual freedom from all miseries arising from material contact. This yoga is to be practiced with determination and an, und and an undaunted heart. 24. One should engage oneself in the practice of yoga with undeviated determination and faith. One should abandon, without exception, all material desires born of ego, and thus control all the senses on all sides by the mind. Purport. The yoga practitioner should be determined and should patiently prosecute the practice without deviation. Now, these determinations can be uh, I mean, they actually practiced or can be actually attained by one who does not indulge in sex life. His determination is strong. Therefore, in the beginning, it was said that without sex life, uh, the determination, or controlled sex life. Uh, if you indulge in sex life, then you, this determination is not done. The flickering determination. Therefore, uh, the sex life should be controlled or given up. If it is possible to give up altogether, if not, control. Then you get determination. Because after all, this determination is bodily affair. So, these are the methods how to get determination. So. One should be sure of success at the end and pursue this course with great perseverance, not becoming discouraged if there is any delay in the attainment of success. Determination means that uh, one has to continue with patience and perseverance. So. I am not getting the desired result. Oh, what is this question? Kasana has given. No. Determination. It is a fact because Krishna is saying this it must have. Uh, there is a nice example. That a, a girl is married to a husband. She is hankering after a child. So, uh, if she thinks that now I am married, I must have immediately child. Is it possible? Just have patience. Ah, you just become faithful wife, serve your husband, and uh, let your love grow up. Uh, and because your husband and wife, it is sure you will have children. But don't be impatient. Similarly, when you are in Krishna consciousness, your perfection is guaranteed. But you will have patience. Determines that I must execute. I should not be impatient. 
That is, the, that impatience is due to loss of determination. And how that loss of determination is there? Due to excessive sex life. These are all consequences. Hmm. Why? Success is sure for the rigid practitioner. Regarding Bhakti Yoga, Rupa Goswami says, the process of Bhakti Yoga can be executed successfully with full-hearted enthusiasm, perseverance, and determination by following the prescribed duties and the association of devotees and by engaging completely in activities of goodness. As for determination, one should follow the example of the sparrow who lost her eggs in the waves of the ocean. A sparrow laid her eggs on the shore of the ocean, but the big ocean carried them away on its waves. The sparrow became very upset and asked the ocean to return her eggs. The ocean did not even consider her appeal, and so she decided to dry up the ocean. She began That's to... The sparrow is trying to dry up the ocean. <laughs> this is called determination. <laughs> Just like our Gandhi, he declared war against the British Act, what is a non-violent non cooperation but the determination was there. Uh, that I must drive away the British eyes, and he did it. And what is your weapon? Non-violence. All right, you fight, you kill me, I shall not attack you. He became... What is that? Determination. Uh, people laughed. <laughs> Gandhi is declaring war is the British eyes. Uh, so powerful, British Empire. And actually, uh, after the British has lost India, they lost all empire. Because that was the jail of British Empire. Uh, they lost all position in the Far East, they lost position in Egypt, they lost position in Suez Tunnel, everything lost. The determination is so nice. Gone. She began to pick out the water with her small beak, and everyone laughed at her for her impossible determination. The news of her activity spread, and at last Garuda, the gigantic bird, carrier of Lord Vishnu, heard it. He became compassionate towards his small sister bird, and so he came to see the small sparrow, and he promised his help. Thus Garuda at once asked the ocean to return her egg. Did he himself take up the work of the sparrow? The ocean was frightened at this and returned the eggs. Thus the sparrow became happy by the grace of Garuda. So Garuda came to his rescue. Yeah. Similarly, the practice of yoga, especially bhakti yoga, in Krishna consciousness may appear to be, may appear to be a very difficult job. But if anyone follows the principles with great determination, the Lord will surely help. For God helps those who help themselves. Yes. Determination means he is uh, very enthusiastic also. That is one of the part of determination. Utsaha bhajya, tattat karma. Utsaha, that enthusiasm is a uh, real beginning of determination. And unless you are enthusiastic, how your determination can continue. So, determination, uh, yeah, enthusiasm, patience, working in the regulative principles, uh, these are the different functions of determination. Determination is one word of all these things. Enthusiasm, patience, working, or uh, with confidence. 
डिफाइंड फीचर ऑफ डिटर्मिनेंट Determination of taking food. No. What is your first name? Well, and that must be rationalization must be there. <coughs> But if you uh, commit mistake by taking less food, that mistake is not bad. <laughs> don't, don't be determined to take more. <laughs> Suppose you have taken some food which is less than what you ought to take, so that mistake is not bad. <laughs> But rather, if you take more, that mistake is bad. So rationalization. If you think that you are rational. Uh, activities are not proper, then you commit mistake to the side. Let don't commit mistake to the other side. Hmm. No, uh, that confidence rationalization is always there, uh, but one should be. Intelligent enough, how much he requires to eat to keep his body fit. That is there in everyone. Generally, there is no mistake. 